Hello, I'm Keith Siddle. I'm an artist and these are some of my big paintings. I also write and illustrate my own children's picture books. Pirate Jack, the one-eyed cat. Little Angelica, little fish and her big adventure. And little Angelica to save our sea. Today I'd like to show you how to draw Shelley Turtle from my little Angelica books. Here she is here. And here she is escaping the plastic rings which she got trapped in very sadly. You'll need a clean piece of paper, a pencil, a pen and a rubber and maybe something to colour with. Okay. So I'm just going to gently draw out an oval shape with a pencil. Just sketch very lightly. This way it makes it easier to rub out later on. And at the top of the oval shape, I'm going to leave a half ellipse there. And that's for the neck, which is a kind of wrinkly, wrinkly neck. And then add the head shape. I'm then going to draw a rough outline up to its claw. Because turtles have a little claw. Some have two. On the front arms. And the claws are good because it actually helps them uh, to crawl through the sand. And clear sand out of the way. But also against small predators. And now I'm going to do a very rough outline on the back legs. Now I'm going to go in with a black pen. Starting with the head. And because the side, uh, the head is facing kind of sideways, I've done a little outline for the lump of the eye the other eye you'll be able to see like that and do a little squiggly line there that's kind of for the wrinkles around the neck and those can just go in like that you can cross hatch a little make it look more wrinkly then I'm going to come in and where we've done a curved line around the sides of the shell we're going to add slight ridges so it gives it more of a, a ridge, um, turtle shape to the shell same the other side And now for the arms. Come up and round, up to its claw, and then down. Because I've drawn the original sketch so lightly in pencil, I might not even rub it out later on. It's a good guidance though, show you where to draw. Okay. 
Now I'm going to bring a band in there and in there. Okay, we'll move move it up a little bit so you can see down there. Now, with my pencil, I'm going to do a center line, sketching very lightly, and it's going to be slightly curved, so going up through the back of the turtle shell and then through the head like that. And that gives me a guidance to where I want to put my large shapes, hexagonal shapes in the turtle shell. So turtles have five a lot hexagonal shapes along the back and they come up to the center I just add a little bit of curve to it two and I leave gaps in between for the ridges Three. Um, this one's going to go all the way up. And this one, we're going to have a big one down like that this time. And then I'm going to join these up and leave a ridge at the edge. Same the other side. Now this side, because of the angle of the turtle shell, you won't see the very edge markings like you will on this side. I'll show you in a second. So here, you just want little squares, well, rectangle shapes. And a few more around there. Now we're going to add shapes into here. You don't have to follow my shapes. I'm just doing very roughly. But it's to give you an idea. So you normally have larger ones on the outsides and then small ones on the insides. And I'm blocking them in as I go with the smaller ones, make it a bit easier. And same down here. And then the last one, leave a little space for its claw there. And then I'm going to go in there. And I have the little wrinkly bits there as well. For the 
edge of the arms. And then Shelley needs a few more on her head. I had a few more there today. So that's the outline done and I'm going to show you a quick way of adding colour now. So I'm going to use watercolour to start with. And don't forget to clean your brush in between each time you use a colour. And I'm going to go in with uh, something called a yellow ochre to start with. Now yellow ochre is really nice base colour for turtle shells I think. I'm going to go in quite strong to start with and then I will blend it in a minute. It's nice and strong. Now I'm just adding a touch of water, dirty, well, not dirty water, but water with the ochre already on my brush, like this. And this will give a nice base to it. The nice thing about using watercolour when you're doing this, it doesn't matter when you add the other colours on top, if your paint is still wet because you can have some nice techniques happen, nice effects. Because turtle shells are beautiful. They have really lovely strong markings on them. Do a little bit in there and touch in there too as a base for her skin. Okay. So now I'm going to clean my brush a little and I'm going to add a really lovely colour called Burnt Sienna. And burnt Sienna is a kind of reddy brown. And I'm going to flick in to get different effects. Doesn't matter if you go over the line slightly. You can always tidy things up later. And this is a very quick way I'm trying to do it for you as well. Now I'm going to add some stronger burnt sienna. Really lovely colour. And add a touch in here too to give a bit of warmth to the ochre. Okay. 
Now I'm going to add burnt umber. Now burnt umber is a brown, quite a strong brown to the main scales, main markings. Turtles are one of my favourite, favourite animals to see in the ocean. My other favourite are probably uh, manta rays, stingrays. So I've been very lucky to see these while scuba diving. Now I've seen a turtle on a beach trying to get to the sea. And they're quite cumbersome, quite awkward in the sand, pushing the sand... And they're quite heavy turtles. I've actually picked a turtle up, well, a few turtles up from different sizes at conservation areas where we help them to the sea. Very heavy. But when you get them in the water, they are so graceful. They glide through the water and they're beautiful. And they look so calm and have such lovely faces. They're also one of my favourite animals to paint when I'm doing my big paintings. I think she's coming together. Now we're going to add a bit more, a bit of the umber into the shell. I've gone quite strong here. I might blend those in a little bit. I've got quite a bit on my brush. That doesn't matter. So in my books, Shelley Turtle teaches little Angelica and the other friends how to go upside down and loop the loops and have fun, trying different things. But in the second book, Little Angelica to Save Our Sea, she's been having so much fun twisting and going through things and turning but she got trapped inside some plastic ring pulls, uh, rings which you get round cans of drink and someone had discarded it and it ended up in the ocean which is not good but luckily as you can see by this image she manages to get free with the help of her friends her clever friends <laughs> now all I'm going to do here is add a touch of um, bluey black. I'm going to water it down quite a lot. And all this is for is in here. It breaks up the back of the shell a bit more. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of brown in there as well, as I've done. <laughs>
Okay, now I'm going to do the same in the arms. Oops, <laughs> a little bit of a flick of paint there, but that's okay. I might even use that later. So you begin to hide most of the white areas now. Blending it in my thumb a little, touch in there. So as you can see, when I am doing the arms here, a little bit of the brown has been dragged in. But I quite like that effect. It's quite nice. Not being too precious about it. Now I'm going to add a bit of blue, just the edges here, and that helps her look a bit more three-dimensional, like she's going through the water. Like so. Okay, leaving a little bit of white in between. There we go. We're nearly finished. If you like, you can add a bit more, a bit of black in here, maybe. Little flicks. Okay, I think that's fine. And now what I'd like to do, especially as I've done a little mark there. I'm thinking that maybe just a touch of water. And I've got some nice watercolour paper here. So I'm just doing a clean ish water here first. Like so. And what we're going to add is some of the lovely Prussian blue we've used in here. Some lovely marks now. There we have it. I hope you've enjoyed drawing Shelley Turtle. Thank you for watching. Bye.